Okay, so sometimes your arches may not be perfect as far as angle or uh, you know the number of twos or if the arch is very gigantic. So let me just show you some of the uh, uh, cases. See, oh, this is pretty crazy. Make sure it's a Bowman Crown Bridge. Okay, right, so see here the height is 29, where we have 25 millimeter puck. So select the fixture and hide it and go to front view. Alright, so just like how we normally do, go ahead and tilt it, and I'll do, I mean this is pretty severe, so I'll do like 20 degrees. Then let's see uh, if it fits within the blank, oh perfect, so it's at 24.5, so it fits within 25 millimeters, so that's perfect. But if you bring the mouse to this and uh, to this screw channel, it says 41.9 and 20.55 millimeter occlusal height. So our tool is 20 millimeter. So uh, if we actually calculate this, it'll probably air out. Uh, but if you have these crazy cases, 0 0.5 millimeter is okay. The tool may not actually break it. So we have chance to actually do this case. Uh, but for these cases, you probably have to contact us. But let me show you a couple things. So first, crazy cases, where should we put them? If we put it here, machine cannot tilt like this. If we machine tilt like this, machine will air out or the spindle will hit it while it's milling it. But if you see like this one, I have a limitation how much I can tilt, which is 30 degree. But if I can tilt like this way, I have no limit, right? Like I said, for user defined, I can go up to 60, right? So I'm going to bring this crazy angle to here. Let's make it simple. So let me show you how, how I would set this up, okay? So I can reach probably 60 degree no problem, so this will be fine. But then I'm going to have a lot of undercuts on facial side, right? So let's see how much undercuts I have. Oh yeah, I have a lot of undercuts. So this is pretty uh, tough case. So let's see what we can do. I would first put Connectors here, copy here, 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 here. Oh, I should have put a little bit more here. And then I'll put here, I'll put like here, I'll put here, and here. And then put the stabilizer. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this stabilizer, it's going going more, right? So I can do this. Go to stabilizer and see this BW? I make it zero. And it just makes it a little less. And then I bring it like this, okay? And probably I can do it. But in here, I want to just set this up again. Bring like this. Bring like this. Bring like this. Bring like this. This. Like this. Then I have six. And then I'll probably just put this like here. Okay. All right. So this will uh, the machine think it'll 
when I'm trying mill here, the stabilizer might be on my way. So there's a couple ways, tricks to do it. So I'm going to save it first. And do user define. So, oh, so see here, like I said, these are some of the uh, cases that doesn't have good integration. But see, it says eight. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this one pink is good. And then I'll just delete that. Because the green is usually uh, not really needed. See, like I'm on number two, but I don't see any of them, right? I'm going to delete it. One, two, uh, that I don't need it. Three, one, two. See, it's like it's hidden here, so I'm going to, I need to delete that too. One, two, I have to delete that too. So basically, I am just setting everything up again from the get-go. So two, okay, I delete that. So I need two pinks on these two cases. So uh, let's just do here. But you remember, uh, if you do the pink, before the channel, the pink may not go to the same angle that you're supposed to have with your screw channel. So let's check. So these actually follow them, so, so perfect. If not, you remember, you just go to the screw channel two. So I have one, two, three, four. So four, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, delete this. And then probably I have to identify this again. Somehow it got skipped. Yep. Perfect. Okay, now we have to do the uh, user defined. So in this case, I mean, this works for uh, uh, DCI users. So sometimes, you know, with the DCI, uh, if you want to utilize the disk changer, I'm not able to actually have uh, uh, the open space area. So I have to do user define like this, watch. So like, click, I would do like this. I probably do this just to have one here because even with this angle, I, I can still see gums. And then I do like here, probably like here. Like here. Then I have to do probably here. Okay, see? Now the uh, boundary got a lot bigger. So let's check the angulation. So this is at 30.5. So I have to make it within 30 degrees. So I was tilting a little bit less just to have a under 30 degrees. So 33, so same. 32, 29.7, perfect. 31. 27, 20, okay, perfect. So that's pretty good. Okay, so we're still able to uh, mill this case, but what I would do, see here, when I'm milling like this, this stabilizer might be on my way. So what you need to do is do another user defined 
this or you go here and then I need to tell computer hey I'm gonna mail like here 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 more so if I do this yeah so it'll make the so something I forgot to tell you was if you're just doing this like making the boundary making the boundary bigger purposes then I have to make the category into two but I forgot to change that so I go here and I go here so this one I can make it like 44 degree but change here category to two So you can see, uh, this will create a space for machine to actually go in. You can actually, I should have made here a little bit bigger. So let me show you. I could have done like this. Let me show you again. Like, could have done like, like this so it, it'll have more room okay yeah then this one has nothing so I'm just gonna probably delete this but uh, then I'll move this a little bit closer to here this and then so make sure it doesn't hit the fixture yeah so it has a warning basically this warning is saying uh, the one of the channel is outside of the blank but we don't have choice for this case so we just have to do that all right so this same concept happens for another case too so let me show you something This is for uh, like titaniums, but I just want to show you uh, something very similar concept. But yeah, so okay, so we do the same tilting 20, minimize. Oh, we need to have more 30. Oh, wow, so this one is very crazy. Yeah, so basically what I wanted to show you was, see, this one has crazy angle here, 30 degrees, and it has a crazy angle here, another 30 degrees. So in order to uh, mill, mill these cases, actually, just like how we did it from the previous case, tilt it, and we have to draw user define like this for us to create enough space for tool to come in and mill and same thing here too So we are basically generating enough space for spindle and tool to go into that direction. Yeah, so if we do this, see, you can see the boundary gets so much bigger. 
but we don't have place to put connectors. So our only choice is putting the connectors on the facial side of it. Okay, but it'll computer will have enough space to mill like this channel and and this channel too. So I just want to show you uh, some different type of uh, applications. Also, I want to show you this too. Yeah, see, if you look at this, so we're not able to put it like this. See, then it'll hit the fixture like here. So our only option is just using the C clamp, but putting it at like this side, like, like this. Then we're not able to I mean, we can have a good user define on this area, but not so much on this and that. Okay, so this is uh, in a case where we just have to do a little bit of uh, manual uh, touch up after it uh, after it actually completely milled out. So, I mean, these are the couple scenarios where we don't have control over. So just understand that we might have to do like this too, okay? All right, so please uh, just let us know if you have other questions and enjoy using your HyperDance. Thank you.